Okay, today I'm going to show you how to write a quadratic equation formula uh, slash program into your TI-84 slash TI-83. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to program and we're going to select new. And when, we're, when we create a new one, we're going to call it quad or whatever you want to name it. I'm going to type it HAB because I've already got this created on my calculator. Enter. First thing we're going to do is we want to prompt it for A, B, and C. So we're going to hit program, prompt, and we're going to prompt A, alpha A, comma, which is right there, alpha B, comma, and alpha C. We're going to hit enter. First thing we're going to do is we're going to want to plug in our quadratic formula. Of course you know the quadratic formula equals plus or minus, so we're going to be making two separate formulas. The first one is going to be our plus. So we're going to be opposite of B, alpha B, plus square root four, I mean of uh, B squared, squared, min minus 4 times A, C, or if you can also do parentheses A, parentheses C. It does not really matter which one you do. I mean, they both work, but I, I prefer to do that one. End comma. You got to make sure you, you end your comma so it evenly comes out. And then we're going to do all this divided by comma 2a. And then what we want is we want to store this as a number. So we're going to hit the button store which is right there, store, and we're going to hit save this as D because we have not used D yet. Enter. Now we're going to do the same thing as before, except for we're going to be doing minus square root of B squared minus 4AC. C in parentheses divided by parentheses 2a 2a over and then we're going to store this again we're going to hit the store button we're going to store this as e alright the uh, last thing you need to do is once you get that in, verify and make sure that your formula is accurate. We're going to hit program and we're going to go to display. And now you want to display your D and your E, which is the answers for your plus and your minus. So now we want to display A, I mean D, alpha D, comma, which is right there again. Alpha E. E. Alright, now when you're done, your formula should look like this. When you and the end result. You should have minus B plus or minus square root minus four times A C all over two A. Stored the D and then the same thing as an opposite. And you definitely make sure these two are the opposites of each other. If not, it won't work. All right, and then we're going to hit enter, and then we'll hit quit, second quit. All right, now we're going to hit program. We're going to hit execute, and I named mine HAB. It's going to ask you for A, so let's go 1, I mean 1. It's going to ask you for B, let's go 6. It's going to ask you for C, let's go 3. And then there's your answers. 
Now, when it gives you your answers, you got to remember it's going to be opposite of what you want. Because negative 3, that will be your x minus 3.55x minus 8.44. To fix this, all you need to do, it's very simple. You, you, you go back into your program, edit, and you go, and you just all you need to do is store this as negative d. Sorry. As negative d. You want to store this as negative e. Or is it e? Quit. Now, if you do the same thing, let's do it again. Program ABC. One, six, three. Oh, I guess it does the same thing. Just remember that, basically just remember that that will be an x minus 3.5 and x minus 8.4. This is book 700, signing out, and this is exactly how you calculate quadratic program in your TID4 slash TID3.